Black Ops is prepared to play Half-Life soundtrack. So don't forget to insert the Half-Life CD. The good old time. Half-Life Black Ops is a Half-Life mod released back in 2007. In this mod, you play as Declan Walker, a Black Ops operative with a simple mission. Retrieve a briefcase. What's in the briefcase? I'll let you discover this by yourself. No spoilers. Although you play as the Black Ops, you are not going to visit Black Mesa. At least, not directly. Okay, let us not beat around the bush. It's clearly inspired by Max Payne. And movies. And I love it. This mod has a variety of locations, from a subway station, to Chinatown, to a nightclub. Dead end, huh? I see what you did there. There is a good sense of progression in this mod. Not only that, it has a unique flow for a, for a Half-Life mod. Get ready to hold shift. You are going to visit corridor after corridor from apartment buildings to the streets. You are going to move slowly in this mod and it's not a bad thing, quite the opposite. It's a change of pace from the traditional run and gun that Half-Life is known for. The mod has clearly aged very well when it comes to level design, but models? Not so much. Yeah, this is basically the HEV suit. Just paint in black. You know what? Give me a second. Much better. The mod has a training ground where it teaches you different mechanics. You also get to pretend the floor is lava. You know, I know that Black Ops have to improvise, but I don't think a piece of wood would be that much help. The mod... <laughs> How should I put this? The mod was clearly created by a horny teenager. I mean, look at this. How should I say it? I don't think that this is a good combat attire. I mean, I can see the tactical use of it. Not sure about the protection though. Do you have an issue with that? I don't mind, but don't you think it's a bit, you know... Then what's the problem? I'm just saying... You know what, never mind. Tactical gear. Who be my judge? You know, after replaying this mod, it really made me wish this mod was integrated into Half Pain. If you don't know Half Pain, it's a mod that brings Max Payne's mechanics into Half-Life. So someone Dude, should absolutely crow, make a crow, crow, because crow. Someone, is someone already did that. What? Since when? 2018. I see. You know what to do. Wait. This video is not over yet. What are you doing, sweet cheeks? But you said. No, we need to talk about remod. It's not over yet. Half Pain Black Ops remod. It's a mix between Half Pain and Black Ops. It fits like a glove. There is nothing I can say. It is great. It fits perfectly. <laughs> There are some places where you have to still walk around, but it just works because of the slow motion. The prison level truly shines here. Your weapons have been taken, there is no armor to protect you, you have to scavenge for pills and ammo. You need to use slow-mo and dodge carefully if you want to beat this level. You know what's the best part? This was not planned. It's a consequence of merging both half pain and Black Ops's level design. It completely transformed the level that you can easily beat in a couple of minutes into a challenge and a test of skill. One of the things that I do not like about the remod is the models. The female assassins have a proper armor this time. Oh no! Anyway, the remod uses the Ultra HD models. 
it kind of moves away from the aesthetic a bit. Also, some models use a chrome effect that just doesn't look good, in my opinion. It's not that bad because the mod does use some models that actually fit the aesthetic. Like for example, the zombies have black coats and also Barney has been replaced by an officer. Which makes sense. So now, the question. Which one should you play? Well, how about both? Just know that in order to play the remod, you need half paint. And it does not work with Zosh, unlike Black Ops. Yes, Half-Life Black Ops is compatible with Zosh 3D, but not half paint. Just keep that in mind. With that out of the way, links in the description as always. See you next time.